Remember when the Pac-12 was called the Pac-10? These guys do. This year's ASU Alumni Legends Luncheon featured the 1997 Sun Devil football team, who finished the regular season undefeated and earned a trip to the Rose Bowl. I got in yesterday and we gathered with about 20 guys just uh, in a real low-key environment so we could just kind of get all the hugs and laughs and connections back in order. So it always is nice to come back whenever I come back, but this weekend's extra special because we're we're celebrating what was a really special season, uh, the culmination of a lot of hard work. And a lot of these guys, you know, I get, I get the focus being the quarterback and, and the Heisman candidate and all that stuff. But really what, what happened was these guys all believed in what we were going for and the vision. And I was able to be kind of the leader in that regard. And we all just we grew together very tight. It seriously seems like five years ago. You know, we, we talk about it all the time. It's just truly amazing that it's 25 years. I can't, I can't, I can't believe it. it. Makes me feel really old. It's, it's hard to believe when you think about that seems like such a long time ago, but yet it seems like it was five minutes ago. And I guess when you're a part of something special, the way that we were and, and the, the, the young men and the grown men who taught those young men uh, in that moment in time, it's, uh, it's special, it's nostalgic, it's something that will stay with us for the rest of our lives. And to be able to come here today in the place where it all began for us, uh, our college careers um, that extended obviously on the field and beyond. Uh, it's just a, a, an immense pride that I feel. Uh, 25 years, does it really seem like yesterday? Did it really go by, by a flash? Yes, it definitely did. I, I just met with some of the fellas last night and I felt like I seen them yesterday. <laughs> I mean, it's just that camaraderie and that connection we have at uh, the time when you reflect on it. 25 years definitely is a long time, but just seeing the guys last night, you wouldn't expect that. From the team's roster, eight players eventually made it to the NFL. But Friday morning, two key members of the team were missing. Coach Snyder's family is here with us today, um, as well as, I believe, Pat Tillman's brother. And just to have them here and those spirits to be present with us today, because he can't be here physically, I think just adds, adds to the mystique, adds to the pride, adds to the, the, just the, the specialness of what we're experiencing. I really miss seeing Coach Snyder was just such an amazing guy. And uh, when he's coaching you, you know, as a as a college player, he's there for you. But when you get out of the game, you know, he was still here. And then when he passed after my career and everything, it was just he's such a father figure. You know, I wish he was around just to just to be the confidence boost he gave me as an 18 year old out of Boise, Idaho. I mean, that that was what made it for me. Pat was one individual in that whole team and I think that's what made that team work is who Pat was you become you understand more of who he is you don't you know 18 to 22 were kids we you know you don't know what you don't know and we didn't know a lot um, and then you look back and you have those conversations and you grow and there's a more meaningfulness to it as for all the guys honestly like in that season alone you're not it wasn't just like look what Pat did or who Pat was. Pat was an important cog to what made that team great. Um, and I think you'll find the more guys you talk to in ASU history and you know, today, great teams come from great people, right? That's just how it works. And you know, the vast majority of the guys on, on that team are great people. So, you know, and he was, you know, a great person that is sorely missed for sure. This group of brothers remember Pat Tillman and Bruce Snyder and honor them to this day. I think it's safe to say that every single grown man now, 25 years later, can point back to what we were taught at Arizona State University under, coach, under head coach Bruce Snyder and say that one at a time has led to us being successful in our lives. I think Coach Snyder and the rest of his staff did a great job of just preparing us and uh, keeping that mentality of one game at a time, one snap at a time. And uh, that really helped us out throughout the course of that season and propelled us to win that Pac-10 championship. We really embodied one at a time. I mean, we, we would win, one, win a game and then it was, he would make sure we let it go and get ready for the next game. And not even the next game, it was get ready for, we're gonna go run one tens now in condition. We watched the game film, what's next coach? We got, who cares who we got next? We gotta run one tens. And it was always just focusing in on that. It really is, it was zen for a football team, one at a time. That was basically be mindful, be where you're at, be here now, be present. And so he really preached that to us. 
And um, yeah, man, we just, we stayed focused. How could you not? We knew we had a special team. We stayed the course and we practiced one at a time, which is what we were taught. The culture of our program was one at a time. And these men, who were young men at the time, lived and breathed it every day. And that's why we were able to turn that into the success that we did. I know the late uh, Bruce Snyder was so big on one at a time, one at a time. But when you go through a, an undefeated regular season, do you feel like maybe a little invincible at some point, like the ball's always going to bounce your way? You know, kind of, I guess. Uh, that's, that's a great question. But um, I don't know. We just, this, as far as the Rose Bowl went, we just, the ball didn't bounce our way. And it did during <laughs> the season, you know, with the UCLA game, USC game, a couple other games. But uh, just, it just, our luck ended, I guess. But above all, these guys just enjoyed chopping it up and reliving old memories. How many times a day, a week, a month? Do you look at that famous touchdown you had against U of A? I see it quite a bit. It's uh, <laughs> it's it's all over at our house, and uh, I see it all over town. So I, I love it. Is that is that one reason why you're so happy YouTube is still in existence, it, it so we can relieve it? Keeps me going. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Brothers are here today and tomorrow hanging out, and they helped carry the goalposts down to Mill Avenue. Their shoulders were all bruised. They were jumping on it, breaking it down. Yeah, you know that that was an exciting time in the valley here. Um, the, the celebration that came from that and then sub subsequent wins afterwards became, you know, it was a fun season, put it that way. The games were fun, the parties after the games were fun, everything was good. And some shared their thoughts on the 2021 Sun Devil squad. They're up and down, and that's yeah. what you, you see, you know, from one game to the next. Um, it's frustrating as a former player to see that. Um, I think they're good enough to go all the way. We'll see, that, but it's just frustrating to see them you know, lose those games they shouldn't shouldn't lose. I love the one-two punch uh, with their backfield, and I love the young quarterback. And just as a whole, I think the team has really matured, and uh, I'm looking forward to see what they do for the rest of the season. I would say, first off, first off, just enjoy every day. You know, we used to hate practice, hate hate camp. Right now, enjoy what you're doing. Uh, you got to obviously, you know, stay focused. That's the hardest part. You get a few guys not focused, then the whole team goes down. So. They need good team leaders, and hopefully they have that. At the Biltmore in Scottsdale, reporting alongside Hode Rubino, I'm Zach Keenan for Devil's Digest.